Lesson 11.6, Arc Lengths and Areas of Sectors. So in the previous lesson, we talked about circumference and area of a whole circle, and today we just talk about a piece. For example, let's say you look at your car, and they want to put a rim right here on this piece right here. Well, that's not a whole circle. It's only part of a circle. So how do we calculate that? Let's do an example. It's the best way to do it. 90 degree piece of a circle. Radius equals 10. So what we want to know is how long is this piece here? Um, if you can see what's going on, you'll say, well, that's easy. I know that the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times 10 and I only need one-fourth of that, so divide by four, because there are four pieces to the circle there. So you just blast it out, and you'd get five pi. And that's where we get the arc length formula. S, which stands for arc length, And I have no idea why. It's kind of annoying. It is x over 360. How many degrees do we want? Times 2 pi r. That's it. Just take the whole circle and scale it down. 360 in the whole circle. And how many degrees you want? I only want 90, then I need one fourth. I need 180, I need half. I need 270, three fourths. That's it. So, what about sector area? We've got a 90 degree piece with radius 10, so again, we do that full setup, but this time we fill it in. And you're probably saying, well, it's the same thing. The area is pi r squared, in this case 10, and you just want 90 out of 360 of that, one fourth. So yeah, exactly the same thing. You should get 25 pi units squared. I didn't use units up there. Because it's not squared, but unit squared. Exact same thing. Just take a chunk of it. So, um, area for sector. And I don't really remember what I call it. I'm going to call it SA for now. It's just the number of degrees over 360 times the area formula. Barely even worth a lesson. You could have figured that out for yourself. And I would expect you to do so. A uh, little note here. Make sure you're in the center of the circle. Because there'll be problems that aren't in the center of the circle. And you have to just adjust and do whatever it takes to figure them out. So, here's an example. What's the length and sector area of a piece of circle with an angle of 120? We want this piece for uh, arc length. And we want this piece... For sector area. So S equals 120 over 360 times 2 times pi times 9 inches, which is nice that we'll get some units in here. I happen to know 120 over 360 is one third. Makes the math a lot easier. 6 pi inches. And I write out inches so you don't think that I'm writing 6 pi 1 or something like that. And the area, 120 over 360, pi 9 inches squared, it's one third, it's 27 pi inches squared. Get quick with the math, it'll save you a lot of time and aggravation, but otherwise it's not too bad. So here's a tough one. Try it on your own. 
plus the area of the shaded region between the two. So again, we're not in the center of a circle. I can't say, oh, there's a circle with a radius. That's not going to work. So you have to figure this out. You can pause it if you want, but I'm going to do it right now. So we need a, a sector area. We're going to do the whole sector area. And then we're going to subtract out the triangle area. So the area equals sector area minus triangle area equals one fourth 90 out of 360. And no units squared minus one half 10 base times height 10 equals 25 pi minus 50. No, we can't combine that. <clears throat> I could factor out the 25 and make it 25 pi minus 2, but there's really no point. Either answer is fine. So a lot of uh, math to do here, not a lot of deep thinking. Learn how to break up the problems. That might be challenging, but otherwise, just get cranking. Practice makes perfect. Good luck.